What's good everybody, it's your boy Humps from Arthur Gaming And today guys, we're coming through with a brand new deck profile You guys see it on the screen, it is a highly requested ABC Dragon Buster deck profile post eternity code But before we get into that guys, we'd like to apologize for taking a huge break this past month If you guys saw in the community tab, we gave our explanation why we took the break And I think everybody needs to take a break every now and then But anyways guys, let's like give a huge shout out to all our supporters, all our subscribers, our Patreons um, anybody who follows us on Twitch, make sure you guys check that out in the description down below, guys. We will be streaming very, very soon, more consistently. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get straight into this deck profile. Of course, so starting off with the deck profile, we play 3A Assault Core, 3B Buster Drake, and 3C Crush Wyvern. Now, the reasoning for this is super simple. We play Potter Desires, you guys can see it. Uh, I'll explain that when we get to it as well. But you really want to open at least one piece in your hand for the majority of the plays if you can at least because of cards like malefactors command or whatever it's called in this current um in the tcg but that's why i play three uh originally i was thinking of just playing two a two c and then just the three b but um the three a three b and three c does come up in the grind game of course there's only one dragon buster so how much does it really you know help but as of now i just feel like three a three b and three c is correct but anyways Moving on, we play uh, two gold gadgets and one silver gadget. The reason why I don't play two silver gadgets is just because I kind of wanted to keep this deck as consistent as possible. And I personally felt like running at F40 was the best way to do so. And I think that, of course, two gold gadgets because it has the highest stats and then one silver gadget. Basically, gold gadget, uh, seeing it is an extender as well, but I just don't think that it's that important. As you guys see, I don't play the Symphonic Engine. That's just a personal preference, guys. I'll explain why uh, as we continue on in the video. But yeah, I do play the one gold gadget, uh, the two gold gadget, and the one silver gadget, just because the utility they provide, and also them being able to float. You can only use one gold gadget effect that turn, only once that turn, but seeing gold gadget with like a B is still, even though obviously you don't have Union Hanger, it still is a really, really good play. As well as seeing it with any other pieces, just seeing this card as, as along with your other extenders is also really good, which is why I play two gold gadget and the one silver gadget. Anyways, moving on, we played the two Union Driver, not three, just because this card doesn't do anything in our hand, and we don't want to open this card at all. You play two Union Driver because even if you open it, it is you can still equip it um, from your hand, or uh, I mean, if you open it, you open it, but you can't pitch it with Galaxy Soldier, which is why I think the card's really good. Apart from that, Union Driver is the new addition we got from Eternity Code. Basically, what this card says is you can uh, once he's equipped, you can banish him and then re-equip another monster. But then that monster you can actually special summon. Usually you can't special summon the monster because of Union uh, Hanger's restrictions. But this card lets you bypass the restrictions, which will makes this card like even even way more better or played than it actually is. Anyways, yeah. So that's the two Union Driver. Then we play the one Photon Orbital. We don't play any higher be just because you want to equip this with the Union Driver. You guys can't say this is Bricky, and this is the reason why I didn't choose to play the Symphonics is because I feel like. You can't play both engines in your deck. You can only play one or the other. And I want to make this deck as powerful as possible going first or second. And I feel like just only dedicating three cards as opposed to, you know, a heavier engine um, into the main deck is, is much better. So, yeah, I play the one Photon Orbital. Basically, what he does is you can equip, when he's equipped, you can send him to the graveyard. And then you can add a Galaxy card. And then that brings us on to our next card. We play two Galaxy Soldier, not three. We just play two Galaxy Soldiers just because of what it can provide um, utility-wise. And because it's essential to the turn one combo, which I'll show you guys later on. And that's why I feel like the two Galaxy Soldier is super important uh, to this deck right now. Um, moving on from the, I guess, main deck engine and support cards, we play the two Ghost Spell and Haunted Mansion. The reason why I play two Ghost Spell and, you know, no effect veilers, none of the new card is because of the simple fact that Call by the Grave exists as well as Shark Cannon. And you don't want your pieces or um, Dragon Buster himself to be called by the Grave. So Ghost Spell is strictly a protection card against decks that play Call by the Grave. Worst case scenario, it can stop Ray because we did see that in the recent LCS that it, it you know, it wants. So Ghost Spell is a really, really good card in what it does. It provides a lot of synergy with other cards. You know, it helps you deal with cards like Golden Lord and, and whatnot. So Ghost Spell, I think, is a really, really good card in what she provides. And... The main reason why I play her is literally just for the protection because you need Dragon Buster to resolve because it's at one, you need to make sure that you can get that Dragon Buster to resolve and then you can follow up with even better and stronger plays. Play two Ash Blossom just because Ash is Ash. I mean, there's not much more to say about Ash Blossom. Covers everything. Um, you can cut this card for like an Effect Villar or more combo cards if you want. 
But since this card got Union Driver, or with the addition of Union Driver, it makes everything a one card combo similar to the Invoked Engine. So you can get away with playing cards like Ash Blossom, Mango Spell, and you know the next card, which is Nibiru the Primal Being. Nibiru is very essential um, in this deck right now just because with uh, Synchro Elders running around as well as Adam Emancipator, you want to be able to play high impact cards that you know just stop everything, which is another reason why I think Ghost Spell is really good is you know you can stop block dragon in the graveyard so worst case scenario you just go spell the block dragon and now they're stuck in a weird spot but yeah nibiru you know just a board wipe and the funny thing about nibiru is if even if you nibiru you can always tag out dragon buster and then nibiru will just tribute all your pieces and then you know they'll all trigger and you can get whatnot and like if you have all these pieces here with the piece in your hand you can actually nibiru the board and then c will be able to summon another card so you're still not in a susceptible position just because of what Nibiru provides. Again, it is a light, so you can pitch off Galaxy Soldier, worst case scenario. Played uh, Triple Call by the Grave just because um, this deck is a little more resilient to hand traps, but Call by the Grave is just, you know, more icing on the cake. You want to resolve your combo as much as possible. And Call by the Grave is a disruption even if you don't. So, for example, uh, Call by the Grave Ray, Call by the Grave Block Dragon, um, Call by the Grave any sort of Ad Emancipated cards, Call by the Grave Golden Lord. You know, it just helps you deal with annoying cards as well as hand traps. But for the most part, you don't really care about hand traps. Cobble gave it just more disruption. You can play cards like Strike and the Psalms if you want, but I want to make this deck as versatile going first or second as possible. Then, of course, play the one Monster Reborn. Uh, this this card is strictly for Dragon Buster, no other reason. Um, Dragon Buster is the heart and soul of the deck, and you want to be able to get that boy out as many times as possible and as often as possible, which is why I feel like Monster Reborn is critical to the deck. Then you play two Pot of Desires. The reason I play Desires is because I want this deck to be as consistent and I want to see my combo cards. This is a go first deck, but it can go second, which is what makes the deck very, very powerful. But yeah, Pot of Desires going first or second is really good. And again, guys, I don't need to explain the math on Pot of Desires. This card is absolutely essential um, for what it provides, being able to draw two. And you play three of uh, for the most important part, even if you, it doesn't matter if you banish Photon Orbital because you can actually just end on like Platinum Gadget. IP Mascarena with um, ABC Dragon Buster, so it doesn't it doesn't really affect your play at all, even if you banish Fortnite Orbital, which is why I feel like this card is really, really good. Um, drawing it does suck, but if I mean if you pitch it off desires, it doesn't really matter. Of course, you play the one terraforming just because it's terraforming. You need to resolve the card as much as possible with triple Union Hanger. Union Hanger again, heart and soul of the deck, right? You one card combo lets you end on insane boards, which I'll show you guys later on. But yeah, that's Union Hanger. And then we play three of the new card, Unauthorized uh, Reactivation. This is another addition we got, not from Eternity Code, but from the Machina React Structure deck, I think. Basically, what it says you can target one monster you control, equip one appropriate Machine Union Monster from your hand or deck to that monster. But the Union Monster you equip cannot be special summoned this turn. And this is really important because this card actually works in tandem with Union Driver. So now, essentially, you play six Union Hangers, seven Union Hangers in your deck. So even if you don't open Union Hanger, Opening like B Buster Drake plus unauthorized reaction reactivation is also combo in itself just because it does the exact same thing. The funny thing is, for the most part, people assume that ABC um, re relies on the field spell, which isn't really the case now. Before it was because you can activate Union Hanger, they can go Ash Blossom, and that's when you hold the call by the grave because you go normal B and then you just activate Union Hanger's effect. They go Ghost you're like, okay, I don't care because now you activate this card. So you played through two hand traps without call by the grave, right? So that's what makes the deck really, really resilient. Um, another thing is what's important to this deck is since this is a quick play, you can actually tag out Dragon Buster in response to Dark Ruler No More if you have this card. So it doesn't really affect you um, in that situation because you can get your monsters on the board to protect because even though Dark Ruler will negate their on-field effects, it won't negate their graveyard effects which is to float and it gives you recursion and more and more follow-up plays in the next turn which is why this card is super super crucial. Then of course you play the one upstart to round off the 40 card deck. And we play triple evenly matched, um, being able to go second is very powerful in this deck. And we can utilize uh, Clara and Ruska to the maximum. Now moving on to the extra deck, of course, we play the one uh, ABC Dragon Buster. Just because it's one, I mean, if it was at three, it was at three. I don't know why this card got hit personally, but I mean, whatever, Konami does what they want. Play the one Abyss Dweller, just because, I mean, it's Abyss Dweller, it's the best card in the format. Finally getting the ulti, if you guys get the ulti, let me know. Um, yeah, Abyss Dweller is Abyss Dweller, not much else to say about that. Play the one Cyber Dragon Nova and the one Infinity just because of the combo um, with Gosh Soldier, which I'll explain to you guys later on. And then we play um, the one Diagusto Emerald. Diagusto is really important in your follow up play because when you Dragon Buster tag out during the end phase, you want to be able to summon another Dragon Buster. So you make Diagusto, you shuffle back all the cards that you used, 
and now you make a dragon buster and you drew additional cards as well so it helps you really push for a game and other uh cards like that and like Diagosto dragon buster you still have one more card assuming what you drew off of like a b search or whatever you can really get to a boral search so it's super simple tornado dragon i mean it's tornado dragon right uh it's just super generic helps you deal with floodgates and rogue decks and then that's it for the xyz's now we go to the length we play appalooza because you can do the ip play with appalooza and she's probably the best link for right now being able to negate monster X super crucial especially against decks like adam emancipator um boral sword for the follow-up otk you guys probably yeah i mean this card's boral sword we don't play access code talker because you can get to boral sword easier and access code talker requires you to banish different attributes and for the most part you play all lights um the one bujinki uh, hashima um this card is really really actually unique in what it does is because it can't be used as link material but depending on what your hand is and if it's a weird hand you can actually end on this card plus an abyss dweller for example like say you open gold gadget plus b um that card actually gold gadget plus b is a really really unique combo where it ends you with bujinki uh this guy plus like a tornado dragon with abyss dweller which is additional pops basically this card came out in um then you said dual power or dual overlord with neofiber and essentially what he does is you can make him with two monsters with the same level he can't be uh, used a link material uh, but that doesn't matter because you make him okay and then once you make him you go normal gold gadget summon b okay oh, okay you have no follow-up effect you link him into them then b will trigger to add a card basically what this guy says is if he's link summoned you special summon two monsters with the same level from your hand and one from your graveyard okay then when you summon you immediately are forced to xyz summon which doesn't matter because you make an abyssal or tornado dragon then that xyz monster has the effect that or when an xyz monster this card points to you can detach one and then you can target one spell trap card your opponent controls destroy it essentially making tornado dragon a pop two which is really insane especially in a back row heavy uh format or back row heavy deck like ultra guys and then as well as abyss dweller it gives abyss dweller a pop as well so even if you play go blind making abyss dweller is obviously better but if you go blind into like an ultra guys matchup abyss dweller still acts as tornado dragon because of what this card provides um obviously 1500 attacks not that much but it is you can deal with it really easily you play the one Claire because you main deck the evenly match, and Claire just kind of acts as like Almirage in our situation. One IP because it's essential to the combo. Um, two Nightmares, the Phoenix and the Unicorn. I don't think Cerberus is important right now, and that's why I don't really feel like uh, playing the card. Phoenix Utility, Unicorn Utility. Platinum Gadget because it's really important for the combos. And I mean, can't be used to link some of the turn it's summoned, but you can link it off with IP during your opponent's turn. And you can special on one level 4 lower machine type monster from your hand, so it lets you facilitate b buster drake plays um union carrier i mean it's another card we got in dual overload the reason why this deck is really powerful is because union carrier is essential to the photon orbital combo which i will show you guys and then over here on the side um this isn't a real side deck these are just cards that you can um substitute so trans modify you guys can play if you guys like i personally don't feel like it's a good card just because you want to be able to play as many rank fours as possible um magnet reverse is a card i was testing just because it's like another uh, monster born for your dragon buster it might be actually pretty good but yeah then i play the needle fiber you can play torque tune gear in the deck as well so let's you get you know cute needle fire plays but i just feel like all that is sort of irrelevant if you can't really do much after like you know cards like dark ruler or nibiru or other hand traps and needle fiber makes the combo uh, a lot more weak to hand traps gear gig and x again similar reasoning is i don't want to play the other uh, bricks in my deck and I don't want to have to rely on extra deck space for this. That's the only reason why I played. If you guys have the counter argument, it's okay. I just feel like I don't want to play those cards. Um, the one Jet Synchron. So Jet, Jet Synchron in itself is really unique because he gives you Needle Fire plays, but he also lets you end on Dragon Buster with uh, Savage Dragon. If you guys want to see that, I can show you guys it. But personally, I just don't feel like it's good. Heavy Mech Support Armor. Again, it's part of the Gear Gigant plays. And it works with Transmodify, but since it's not level 4, I don't really like it personally. But I know what it does, and I understand what it does. I just personally don't like it. Gizmet Yada, again, Gizmet Yada is another card that, you know, it's unique in what it does because it's a level 5 uh, light machine. And it gives you an additional normal summoner, summon, similar to the Symphonic Engine. But with cards like Union Driver and Unauthorized uh, Reactivation in this deck now, I feel like Gizmet Yada really got power crept. And now this... It's not really the most optimal play. And then, of course, the third Galaxy Soldier, if you guys want to play it. But, yeah, so that was the deck profile, 40 in the main, obviously. Now, I'm just going to show you guys a really, really quick one-card combo, which this deck can do. And, yeah. So, now, this is the combo. It is just, you know, just one Terraform. That's all you need. 
So I'll show you. So we go activate terraforming and we're going to grab the uh, union hanger. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the union hanger, activate it, and we're going to search B Buster Drake. It's very important. Normal the Buster Drake to get the union driver. So now this is where union driver will activate his effect. So you can banish him. And now you can go through your deck and equip and any other material you want. So it literally can be the same name. So we get the B. So here we got the B. We put it to the spell and trap card zone. And now we special summon the B because Union Driver doesn't have the restriction of the monster cannot be special summoned. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna link the two off into I believe it is our Union Driver. Uh carrier, sorry. So now both B's will trigger. So chain like one B, chain like two B, because B is not hard on our turn. And we're gonna add our A and our C. Okay. Now we're going to use Union Carrier's effect to target itself to equip Photon Orbital um, from our deck to Union Carrier, which doesn't really matter because we're just going to use Photon Orbital's effect to go and fetch our Galaxy Soldier. Now we're going to use Galaxy Soldier's effect to pitch uh, Special on itself and now use its effect again to search the other Galaxy Soldier. Now we're going to use Galaxy Soldier's effect again to pitch our A Assault Core. And since we only play two, that's it. We make the Nova, make the Infinity. And now we banish the three for our Dragon Buster. So now again, this is a one card combo. It ends you on APC Dragon Buster, Cyber Dragon, Infinity. Um, of course, it's a one card combo. So you'll have four of the cards in your hand. So you can have like evenly, you can have Call of Gave. Any other extenders will net you into bigger plays. But this is just what I'm showing you guys as of now. If you guys want to see more ABC Dragon Buster combos, because I love this deck, uh, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below. Again, guys, check out our Twitch and all the links down below where you can help us or just help support the channel. I will be streaming a lot more consistently and we will be doing daily uploads. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Again, guys, this is Hamza from Method Gaming signing out. Peace.